Hello friends, welcome to our YouTube channel RF Design Basics. In this lecture, we will learn how to design a full adder with NOR gate only. So we know full adder is a combinational circuit that adds three one bit numbers and gives output as sum and carry. Let's say inputs are A, B and C, I. So output sum will be A XOR, B XOR, C I and carry C out will be A B plus A C I plus B C I. This is full adder. This A XOR, B XOR, C I can be also written as if we take this a x or b as a single term then we can write it as a x or b multiplied by c i bar plus a x or b bar multiplied by c this a x or b is complement of a x nor b so we can write it as complement of a x nor b multiplied by c i bar plus this is a x nor b this is a complement of a x or b so it will be a x nor b multiplied by c i if we take this a x nor b as a single term suppose x then it will be x bar c bar and x c so it is x nor of these two terms it will become a x nor b x nor c i so we can design a full adder using two x nor gates one x nor gate and second x nor gate This is A, B and this input will be given to second XNOR gate along with C, I and this will give A, XNOR, B, XNOR, C, I. This is also A, XOR, B, XOR, C, I. Now let us design these two stages of XNOR gate using NOR gate. So for designing one XNOR gate we need four NOR gates. Let us give these two inputs A and B. This is A and B. So these two inputs will also be given to this first NOR gate. The output of the first NOR gate will be given to the input of the second and third NOR gate. And the output of the second and third NOR gate will be input to the fourth NOR gate. And output will be A X NOR b this output a x nor b will be given as a input to the second x nor so let us design this x nor using nor gates so we will design this similar circuit for the second x nor gate We will give this output A XNOR B to the second XNOR gate along with C I carry input and output will be A XOR B XOR C I. The sum of the full adder. 
Now I will write all the intermediate output expressions for better understanding. For the first NOR gate, inputs are A and B. So output will be A plus B whole bar. Now for the second NOR gate, inputs are A and A plus B whole bar. So output will be complement of sum of these two terms. So A plus A plus B whole bar complement, whole complement. We will apply De Morgan's law here. So this plus will change to dot. So it will be A bar dot A plus B double bar. So it will be A plus B. This A, A bar will be zero. So we can write it as A bar B. Similarly, for the third NOR gate, the inputs will be A plus B whole bar and B. So output here will be B plus A plus B whole bar, whole bar. And we can write it as B bar dot A plus B. So it will be A B bar. Now this a B bar and A bar B. Here it is A bar B and here it is A B bar. Output of these two NOR gates will be input to the fourth NOR gate. So output will be complement of summation of these two terms. We can write it as A bar B plus A B bar whole bar. So this is this term is nothing but A XOR B, so it will be A XOR B bar. A XOR B bar is A XOR B. Now come to the second stage. For making this expression simple, let us assume this A XOR B is X, a single term X, so we can write it as X bar. So here input to this NOR gate is X bar and CL. So what will be the output? It will be X bar plus CI whole bar. For the next NOR gate, the inputs are X bar and X bar plus CI whole bar. So what will be the output? Output will be sum of these two terms and complement of the whole term. So X bar plus x bar plus ci whole bar and complement of whole term. Using De Morgan's law, we can remove this bar. So it will become x double complement plus, sorry, multiplication. This plus will be dot, converted to dot and it will become x bar plus CI double complement. So it will be X multiplied by X bar plus CI X X bar is 0 X CI will be remaining so it will be X CI. This is nothing but A X or B multiplied by CI. So we have taken here A X or B as, as X. So it will be A X or B multiplied by C L. Similarly input for this NOR gate will be C I and X bar plus C I whole bar. So output will be sum of these two terms and whole complement. So we can write it as X bar plus C I plus C I whole complement. So it can be written as using De Morgan's law. We can separate these two terms. So it will be X bar plus CI double bar. So it will be cancelled and multiplied by CI bar. So now we can write it as X bar CI bar. This CI CI bar will be 0. This X bar CI bar is nothing but a x or b 
bar multiplied by ci bar so output for this nor gate is xci that is ax or b multiplied by ci and output for this nor gate is ax or b bar multiplied by ci bar or x bar ci bar these two terms will be input to the next nor gate and output of this nor gate will be complement of summation of these two terms so we can write it as xci plus x bar ci bar and whole complement so output here will be xci plus x bar ci bar whole complement so this xci plus x bar ci bar is x x nor ci we can write it as x x nor ci bar so complement of x x nor ci is x x or ci that means x we have assumed for a x or b so it will be a x or b x or ci So this is how we can realize sum of the full adder. So this is sum of the full adder. Output of this circuit is sum of the full adder. And for realizing sum of the full adder, we need 8 NOR gates, 8 2 input NOR gates. For realizing this carry, we need our ninth NOR gate. For realizing this carry of full adder, Input to the ninth NOR gate will be taken from the intermediate point here and here. So let us take it. Let us take an input point from here that is A plus B whole bar. And let us take another point from here. And give it to a nor gate and output will be carry out this is c out how this will be c out we will see it input for this nor gate are a plus b whole bar and x bar plus ci whole bar so output will be complement of summation of these two terms these two terms so we can write it as a plus b whole bar plus x bar plus ci whole bar and whole complement whole bar. This also can be written as c out. If we remove this bar using De Morgan's law, it will be a plus b double bar and this x bar plus ci double bar. So it will become a plus b multiplied by x bar plus ci. So you can write it as a plus b multiplied by this x bar is a x or b. So x bar will be a x nor b plus ci. We can write it as a plus b multiplied by a x nor b can be written as a b plus a bar b bar plus c i. So multiply it. The multiplication will come as a b plus a c i plus b c i. So this term is same as this term. So this is carry output of the full adder. So output of this NOR gate will be carry output of the full adder. So this is how we can design a full adder using NOR gate. We need 9 2 input NOR gates for designing a full adder. I hope this video is helpful to you. Thank you.